Do you really think Frozen 2 is going to be a... Maybe Disney will have a hand in it, but... You're really comparing Frozen 2 versus the Lego Movie 2. Whereas the Lego Movie 2 was arguably garbage. Godzilla is not doing well because of its schedule, okay? As you all know, Frozen is a really awful movie made by Disney. Um, and now it's getting a sequel because so many little girls want to go see Frozen. First one, it's also the best-selling Blu-ray of all time. Don't know why, but if folks, but here's the thing: there's an animation curse going on this year, Scott Mendelson. There is a there's a animation curse this year. The only movie to have escaped this curse so far is How to Train Your Dragon Free. Maybe Disney will be the only one, besides How to Train Your Dragon, to escape this curse. Because How to Train Your Dragon did pretty well for an animated movie this year. Yeah, that's, that's basically that playing for an animated movie in general. Pets didn't do well. That's why I didn't put Pets here. Because Pets only grossed $90 million, and that was a massive success, the first one. Um, the Lego movie... Two was terrible, the terrible movie. That's there's a reason why I uh, it flopped. Why the Skywalker? Nobody cares about the Why the Skywalker. Okay, that movie on the first day people cared, but people have kind of forgotten about it. Well, the last 18 months or five years, we go readers see go stumble and fall. Pacific Rim Uprising, yes, that was terrible. A good movie too was terrible. It'll probably call but King King of the Monsters is currently at three fifty million according to the numbers dot com. The exception to that rule is how to trade Jack in Hidden World, which people actually like the King of the Monsters. Okay. King of the Monsters is doing extremely well in foreign countries. You got don't it's like you don't remember Kaiju movies are not really that successful, okay? They're they're not really that popular in America. People want to see superhero movies in America. That's a set Arita, of course, because Arita actually was liked. Unlike Mortal Engines, Tomorrowland, Ju because Super the let's the look West Hero, let's compare all these movies on Arita. Arita, uh, going to see it again. Alright, uh, okay, let's see Arita. Mortal Engines. Mortal Engines was an awful movie. Tomorrowland was an awful movie. Jupiter Ascending was an awful movie. That, that's what's really the different from all these other movies here. Valiant have not seen. All three of these four movies are terrible movies. Valiant I have not seen. And it was that Star Wars from I am I have never I've only seen Harry Potter, so Walt Disney has over avoid overexposure with its suddenly animated uh if you go to Disneyland, there's really entire areas dedicated to Frozen. Okay. Still the biggest animated movie ever. Globally, Incredibles going to pass it, which that's another overrated movie. Um, Coco. And basically, Coco was, eh. It's okay. Coco's okay. What happened with Lego Movie 2? Well, the reason why Lego Movie 2 flopped. How are you going to distinguish Wiggle Movie from Wiggle Movie 2 from all the other DVD Wiggle Movies, okay? Wiggle Movie 2 was also not good. It was not funny, and it was more of the same as the first one. Young Woman of, uh, yeah, because of Secret Life of Pets 2, which... Secret Life of Pets 2 is actually pretty funny. The problem with Secret Life of Pets 2, I think the problem with the movie is it's very hard for like, the casual audience to distinguish between 1 and 2. Some people probably think the movies are the same thing, okay? I think Illuminatum, they want to have that big set again of Pets 1. They have to find a way to distinguish between Pets 1 and Pets 2 and Pets 3. That's how they made Despicable Me, because a successful franchise. Like, Secret Life of Pets 2 works more of the same as Secret Life of Pets 1. I'm sorry, but it does. Five months out, we'll probably get another trailer of Maleficent 2, which will probably flop. No, it's Disney. They'll, 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 they'll try to make sure it's a success. Hold Frozen 2, and 
The Rise of Skywalker was nobody cares about that movie because of a certain Last Jedi. Overall, I don't Frozen 2 will probably succeed because Frozen 1 was overrated. He is right now. Godzilla is gonna probably go around 400 million. I, I was say I thought Godzilla was gonna go around 400 million. I'm not. I wasn't gonna say oh it's gonna go 900 million. Someone even said a billion dollars at the box office. But the Lego Movie 2 and Godzilla 2 is still ahead of Rampage and Pacific Rim as well. So those movies are still behind. Godzilla 2, so Godzilla 2 is going to do similar to Pacific Rim and Rampage. Well, of course, it's not good for the franchise, but Godzilla 2, the reason why the movie is not doing well is because of bad timing. Okay, sometimes movies flop because they don't release at the right time. Okay, that's how it is. Let's look at 2016, and let's look at the great box office disaster of summer of 2017. Wonder Woman and Spider-Man, of course, were successes. The Spickle Me Free grossed on billion dollars. But lots of movies, sequels, flopped. Lots of movies. And unless you're a superhero movie, or This Spickle Me Number Free, and Dunkirk, most of the movies didn't do too, too well. Or, or movies like a very small budget, like Baby Driver. So, Frozen 2 will probably do well. Um, I don't want it to do well, but... For the worldwide box office, be ahead of last year, probably has to do well. While the real go, while the same people are going to go watch Frozen 2, it won't go to a billion dollars like the first one. It will likely go to 800 million dollars or something because that's what Disney is. It'll probably, probably, and that base get on um, Frozen 2. Frozen World was terrible, but I'll probably get like 10 dislikes just for saying Frozen World was terrible. But Frozen 2. Will not do as great as Frozen 1.